March 26, 2021, and this video is called tree grafting. Now, tree grafting is a technique whereby you the tissues of the plants are joined so you can continue the growth. And the reason why you'd want to do that is, in this case, there's a special tree called a golden leaf dawn redwood. It's called gold rush. And what you want to do is you want to propagate it, make more of them. Sometimes trees can't be uh, rooted by cuttings, and sometimes you can only d propagate through uh, grafting. So what you want to do is you want to connect the top part, which is the scion wood, to the rootstock. And you do that by grafting, and you fool the conducting tissues, the active part of the tree that makes growth. You trick them to keep growing. Now, there's a couple things when you graft, you need to do it before the buds open up. Once they get to this point, you're done grafting. But, what you want to do is, what I like to do is, if you got a greenhouse, I always like to graft when the rootstock is growing, so there's that, act, that active growth already, and I think you have a higher success of... Uh, the actual uh, graft taking. The other thing I would suggest is find out if your trees are got plant patents on them because uh, you're legally you're not allowed to be doing this if there's a patent on the plant. Now here is the graft union. Now you're gonna use a rubber band. There's a special rubber band that you use. And a good company to get them from is this AM Lettered. And what it does is, I tried using regular rubber bands and they just don't work. What these guys will do is, they have, it feels like there's like a flower on them or something. But once you graft it and wrap it around here and tie it, it locks in. And the key is, when you connect those two parts together you want to get them as tight as you can and no spacing because then the connecting tissues will not connect so the other thing what you want to do is you want to get yourself a grafting knife and I just picked this up this is also from AM Leonard this is uh, about 30 bucks and it's well worth it you got to be very careful because it's very sharp and what I like about this one there's this little top part on it and once you cut there's a couple techniques of grafting the one I usually use is the one going right down the middle splitting it up and getting the V but when you want to put that sign wood in it this is a nice little part to open up that that little crack to fit the sign wood inside of it and the other thing I like to use is beeswax because what you're going to want to do is coat that connection that graft union with a wax and the reason for that is you do not want it to dry out and I noticed that I'm getting a very high percentage of uh, the grafts actually taking by wrapping uh, or dipping or painting the uh, graft union with wax I'm using beeswax now what you can do I picked up a little baby crock pot and right now I just turned it on and I'll show you once it gets going that this is gonna melt and you're also gonna need a little paintbrush to paint that on there and once this gets melted we're gonna end up doing some grafting I'm gonna show you how to do it okay so rootstock what's happening with me is in the fall, I dig up the rootstock and put them into containers. Now, if you have, uh, you can find a lot of stuff just growing outside. You can find oaks, you can find maples, you can find crab apples, and actually underneath a big green dawn redwood, there's all kinds of seedlings that are, that are coming up. So what you want to do is you pot them up in the fall. And once they get going, that's when you're going to end up uh, using them for the rootstock. Alright, let's talk about these rubber bands, these rubber strips. 
Now the one I'm using is a five inch by a quarter inch, and that's the thickness. You could experiment. Five inches is fine, but if you're new, you might want to try with the six inch, just uh, so we have a little bit more uh, play in the uh, strip. But once you get going, it, uh, it it's 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 a little tricky. But once you try them a couple times, you'll get the hang of it. So this is what I'm using. All right, here is a specimen that I did probably about like 15 years ago. I'm gonna try to do a cutting off of this and take it up there. But I wanted to show you the graft union. Now look how low, there's different areas of the graft that you, you can go high, you can go low. But the main key is that you wanna, you wanna connect at the same diameter of the cyan wood and the rootstock. But I just wanted to show you that's called the graft union. See that area right here? It's a little darker here, and it's a little lighter there. That's where I connected them together. And look at this guy. This tree has been around since the dinosaurs. And with that golden foliage, you'll see uh, why it's, it'll be one of your favorite trees as well. And here is the union. So I seen I seen up here the buds. It's a little early this year. Everything's starting to break early, but it looks like we still could get a couple off of this. So we're we're gonna we're gonna take this. We don't need that one, but we definitely need this one. The other thing I wanted to show you is what I like to use, if you have a choice, I like to use that piece right there, which is the end of the uh, branch as opposed to the side ones. All right, the wax is melted and now let's do the graft. I'll show you how we're going to use that. Okay, so what we're going to want to do is you're going to want to match up the diameter of the stem so it will fit as close to the cyan wood and the rootstock. Now depending on that is depending on how you're going to cut that, that cyan wood outside. So I'm going to say it's going to be like right over here. So what I like to do also is I like to clean up the area so it's easier to work with. And this is going to go right around here. So let's give it a cut right there. And I think it's going to work right around here now here is the grafting knife now there's a couple ways to graft you can go off the side and slip it in I like to go right to the top so what I like to do first is shave the cyan wood first I gotta be careful here because this thing is really sharp so that's one side and I like to you gotta get exactly on the other side equal And so what you want is that little V. And actually you can see it's not perfect so we gotta get that right side up a little higher. And 
and you don't want it bumpy at all and you want to even on the end so right there is not bad all right so what you want to do is you want to go right down that center and I usually do according to that knife I know I'm gonna go that deep so that's a good little way to keep in mind how far this is gonna go down okay so this isn't bad either but when you have a hard wood this little this little uh, opening stays tight and that's what this end of the grafting knife is for I like that so you pry it open and then you slip it in here Now, let's get a side view of this so you can see what's going on over here. I'll zoom in. Can you see that? That's not too bad. So let's go back this way. Let's put the rubber band on it. I usually like to stop it, start at the bottom holder, and then you you gotta hold it. With your finger you're going to get used to this and you pull it and you work your way to the top as you're putting applying pressure to this rubber band so they kind of stay together and you keep pulling it and I try to get it to the top over here and then you tie it And with a see this is in the way this guy so you pull these and with a fresh rubber band these things don't snap and it kind of locks in place and what I like to do is clean up the strip a little closer because it's going to be coated in wax And now we're going to bring the wax over and paint it. And go all the way around that graft union and what that's going to do is seal it and prevent it from drying out I can't do it but some people will if it's a smaller top they dip this top part and seal the whole cyan but I don't do that And that's basically it. So what's going to happen, I'm going to show you the ones I did already last week. Now here is another redwood. And you could tell if it's taking or not because you'll see the growth on them. Now 
as you can see they're opening up now this one is a crab apple this is my own variegated crab apple and that looks like it's gonna take this one is a box elder maple which I got a golden leaved one called Kelly's gold up on top and the buds are swelling so it looks like it's going to take so try some grafting it's kind of a cool little experiment mark it with the date and the key is going to be when July comes and it gets really hot and if it makes it through the summer and you still have leaves up on top pretty much you were successful and you propagated some uh, new trees and I'm doing this to my unusual stuff that I find because if you only have one of it it makes it rare and if you lose it it's gone so you want to propagate and expand your collection and actually look at this one I did two on one I don't know if it's going to take, but we'll see. So, happy grafting. Let things grow naturally. Alright, let's do one more. Pretty good. This one might be better than that other one. And you hold it with that thumb right there. So it doesn't pop off until you get it on the other side there and you give it a tug and it tightens it the key is it's got to be really tight so it'll hold that cambium together it's kind of like transplant surgery this is the tough part and you'll get used to this. It's really quick actually. Pretty simple. Once you get the knack of it, you could just kick them out. And then, like I said, I like to clean it up so you don't have all the wax all over these long strips of rubber.
And then you get the wax. There you go, another one's done. And that's going to seal that, so it's not going to dry out. That is the key. I guarantee if you try it with the wax, you're going to get some high percentage uh, grafts to take. And it's still good to go. Once it gets warm, like I said, once that bud pops, it's going to be impossible to graft, so get it done before that and try your experiment. Let things grow naturally. Alright, look, at it's been three days, and look at already. That's showing some good sign that it's taking, but the key is to get it through that hot weather. But so far, so good.